Hello everyone, my name is Nelson Miller with PA Creative. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a lot of the common issues, problems, or bugs that a lot of people experience using Divi. A lot of times it's not actually Divi's fault, but sometimes it is, sometimes it's the website, sometimes it's cache, CDN, hosting server, and all that. So we're going to help you isolate the problem and give you some steps on how to you know, solve those problems and without even contacting support. All right, so I'm excited to show you this. This is a really popular tutorial on our blog. It's been helping a lot of people and I'm hoping this video adds some value to that post as well. All right, well, let's get started. All right, so the first one, clear your cache. And this is very important, especially after every update that Divi releases. And if you don't know how to clear your cache, this is something that you should certainly learn how to do. If you want to, you can use this handy little website called refreshyourcache.com. Once you go there, you're going to see a link to each of the browsers that are out there. Choose the one that's yours and it'll give you a tutorial with little screenshots of how to clear your cache. Next thing that you should probably do, this is a little pro tip, is install a Chrome extension called Clear Cache. I use this all the time. It's really handy to have in my toolbar and I hit it every time I add some code or certainly after updates. All right, so the next thing on the list is to clear the static CSS file generation in Divi. All right, so I'm going to show you where that's at. It's in theme options. Go under the builder tab and when you hit advanced, here it is, static CSS file generation. Now I always leave this off and I highly recommend that you leave that off, it's gonna solve a lot of your problems. But if this is on, see this button here, go ahead and click that, and that'll clear the static CSS. Okay, so the next one here is clear any caching plugin. Now this could be WP Rocket or WP Fastest Cache, or it could be anything like from your host, such as SG Optimizer. Now I use SG Optimizer, and when that's installed on my website, there's a button that says Purge SG Cache. So your plugin might have something similar to that. Go ahead and clear that. The next one on the list is clear the CDN cache. So if you have a content delivery network such as Cloudflare, this is really important to clear, especially after a Divi update. This is something that a lot of people are not doing and it is causing problems, especially with the builder loading. So I'm gonna give you an example of how I do that in Cloudflare. Uh, first of all, I select which website I want and then you'll see this row of tabs. Click on caching, and then you're gonna hit purge everything. And this may be similar in your CDN. The last thing on the clearing the cache part is to clear the cache on your Wi-Fi router. Now this may surprise you, and it is one of those last resort problems. If you're having a problem, uh, the first thing I would do is go to you know a coffee shop or somebody else's house and see if you can uh, work on your website there. And if it's okay there, that means it may be a problem with your Wi-Fi router and there actually is a cache that you can clear on those. And you're gonna have to you know, look, with your, look up on Google or look up your manufacturer's instructions on how to clear that. All right, the next one on the list is to enable safe mode in Divi. Now this is found under the Divi menu in the dashboard and you can find support center there and then in your support center toggle on the button that says safe mode. Now this is going to temporarily disable your plugins and it's going to allow Elegant Themes tech support to diagnose the problem and see if it's you know still happening while safe mode is on which basically means all that's running on the back end is Divi and if you're still having that problem then yes it's Divi. But if the problem goes away, then, oh, it was probably something else. So if you're over in Divi Support Center, just toggle on the Safe Mode button. And what it does, you'll see this little green check mark and the blue toggle. And then down in the corner, on any page on your website, you'll see this Turn All Safe Mode. Now, it may look a little funny if you have CSS or, again, any types of plugins. Those are going to be disabled for you, not your website visitors. So... Whenever you're done testing, you can go ahead and just click this green button to turn off safe mode. The next one is to update your PHP version. Now, you're going to keep up with what WordPress is recommending. Divi also has a recommendation for this. They might say, for example, we recommend 7.3 for the best experience. 
Now you can find this in your hosting account, but if you don't have that access to that, you can install a plugin, you know, it just says PHP version, and that'll actually display that in your dashboard. So just make sure that you are using one of the current stable versions of PHP. In fact, I'll show you in the support center when you turn on this uh, show full report. Right here to actually tell you the PHP version and they're going to recommend something here. And as you can see, I am meeting the recommendations. Okay, the fourth thing on the list is to upgrade to a better hosting provider. And you may be wondering why this is number four, but this is really important. If you're using something like GoDaddy or Bluehost or iPage, you're going to have a really bad experience with Divi. In fact, I don't take clients that are using any of those hosts because the, there will just be so many problems. And if you need support, their support is not very good, especially GoDaddy. Please do not use that. Um, I actually recommend SiteGround or Cloudways. And if you would, if you don't have either of those, I recommend that you make the switch. It's really easy. They'll help you. All right. The next one is to check the system status. So you need to make sure that your hosting configuration is even compatible with Divi. And like I was just saying, you know, there are some hosts that it simply is not, and they're not going to be able to help you. So what you can do is go into your Divi support center. Now, since all of mine are met, I actually don't see any that are red here, but normally you would see some that are red. I'm going to click on show full report. And as you can see, these are all green. Now, if any of these were red, you're going to have to talk to your hosting provider and ask them to correct that. So basically Divi is giving a recommendation here for each of these for it to run smoothly. And if you're not meeting that, that could be part of your problem. All right, so number six, use the version rollback feature. So if you know you're having bugs with the version that you're currently on, but you're on the latest version, that there's no update that's out from Elegant Themes, it's, there's, they have it fixed at or something like that, or you know, you've tried all the other things on the list, you can actually roll back to the previous version. So if you go under your theme options, go to updates, there's a version rollback. So just click this and it'll actually pop up a button saying, hey, you're going to go back to, you know, such and such version. Is that OK? So there's, you know, a few times that you'll need to do that uh, if you're definitely having problems. But yeah, you, you want to use that as a last resort. And then I have just number seven uh, contact support. So, yeah, if if you've already done the things on this list, that's when you contact support it's not really appropriate to be contacting them before you've done a little bit of your own homework because what's going to happen is if you contact them the first thing they'll do is is basically go over this list have you cleared your cash have you checked the support center you know what kind of requirements are you know are we meeting with the hosting things like that they're going to ask you that anyway so it's really important to just follow the steps in this tutorial and then once you get here, go ahead and contact support. Now, Elegant Themes makes it nice and easy to do that. So back here under the Divi menu in the support center, they have this option here called Elegant Themes Support. And you can actually turn on remote access. And what that will do is that will allow the support agents to have access. And here it says three days, 23 hours, 59 minutes. So, and then you're gonna also wanna activate full admin privileges so that they can do some proper troubleshooting. Now, the next thing is to start to chat. You can click on this button and you actually wanna copy the support token, okay? So then you go over to their website and make sure that you're logged in. Otherwise, you'll get like the sales team. You wanna make sure you're getting the, the actual tech support team. And just hit, you know, start a new conversation and you're gonna to wanna to paste in your code and give them your website URL and things like that, explain the issue. It's also good to explain, you know, what things that you have tried already. That'll help speed things up and give you the best support. All right, so that's pretty much it. I have a few things to avoid. You know, don't install the Divi Builder plugin with the Divi theme. You know, don't use notoriously bad hosts. Uh, stay up to date with all, all everything, your plugins, your WordPress, install your Divi, your theme, um, and then just, you know, don't have multiple tools doing the same thing. So say, for example, you have something that's minifying the CSS. 
and Divi has that feature. You know, just turn off the one in Divi if you're using a plugin to do that. So hopefully this has been helpful. Um, hopefully you can refer to this list and maybe bookmark it and come back to it like a lot of people already are. Of course, you can feel free to subscribe if you like this sort of thing over on the blog and you can subscribe here on YouTube, of course. Okay, so I hope that helps you. I hope it solves a lot of your issues and problems, things that you encounter using Divi and gives you some ideas of how to solve them and how to, what steps to take from there on out. All right, so if this is helpful, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.